Hey everybody, Will Fix here. Got another video for you today and have a couple of very bullish articles. We'll go ahead and get started with them right away. And uh, here we go. Tell me what you think about this article. Looky here, XRP gearing up for phenomenal breakout as legal expert reveals imminent end date for SEC Ripple case. Pro XRP lawyer Fred Rispoli I guess you say it, founder of HODL Law, has made an epic prediction about when Judge Annalisa Torres will issue a summary judgment decision in the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission versus Ripple lawsuit. Rispoli indicates that after over three years of legal proceedings, the protracted legal dispute could see a potential resolution by the end of this month. That would be great. High stakes XRP lawsuit to end this month. With the crypto market commentators and XRP investors alike anticipating the verdict in the long-standing case between Ripple and SEC, attorney Fred Rispoli has speculated a potential end date for the lawsuit. In a recent post on X, Rispoli noted a recent filing, specifically Ripple's notice of supplemental authority, citing the recent ruling of Judge Amy Behrman Jackson in the United States Securities Exchange Commission versus Binance case, Judge Jackson's ruling strengthened an earlier precedent set by the SEC versus Ripple by New York's Judge Torres, which established that the sale of XRP on exchanges and through algorithms did not satisfy the SEC's criteria to qualify as an investment contract. Rispoli opined, just got a notice of a filing in SEC versus Ripple case and my heart skipped a beat. But don't worry, no ruling just yet. It was Ripple's notice to Judge Torres of the Binance decision last week. Ripple has contended that similar to the Binance lawsuit, sales of XRP on secondary markets did not constitute security sales under U.S. federal laws. Ripple also pointed out uh, the lack of regulatory clarity to bolster its argument against the securities regulator. When asked by an ex-user going by the online moniker Crypto Moon Amsterdam, when he expects Judge Torres' verdict to come in, Rispoli responded, July 31st, although I could see her doing it July 13th to be poetic. The uh, prominent attorney is referring to the monumentous date of July 13th, marking the anniversary of the landmark 2023 ruling by Judge Torres, which gave XRP Price a shot in the arm. Ripple and XRP SEC have been in the remedies phase with the agency asking a New York judge to impose a nearly $2 billion fine against the San Francisco-based blockchain payment startup. The SEC recently considered um, considerably slashed its request to $103 million, but Ripple maintains the civil penalty should be no more than $10 million. And as of the press time, XRP was changing hands at about $0.42, cents, marking a 1.6% drop in the day. Now, that's kind of a bullish article that we're going to get that over with and check this other one out. This article is citing how the, the volume has spiked 80%. And uh, there's other things talking about whales moving uh, tons, tons of money. And uh, so we're going to look at this real quick. XRP skyrockets 80% in volume as price turns green. All right. Well, okay. Let's take a look at it. XRP, the seventh largest crypto by market cap, has seen a positive rise in trading volume, skyrocketing by 80% as the crypto price turns green, signaling a new interest and activity among traders and investors. Per coin market cap data, XRP's trading volumes have skyrocketed by 86% with a $1.41 billion value in amount of trades. This surge comes amid a backdrop of an ecosystem that has seen the value of XRP turn green, signaling a recovery 
from crypto. Uh, uh, the crypto ecosystem surprisingly posted a recovery with several major coin prices turning positive. This follows after a serious fall in, in today's early crypto trading session with Bitcoin close to $54,000 price. So XRP was no exception as it recovered after falling to a low of 40 cents in today's crypto trading session. While putting this analysis together, the XRP price had returned to trade in green up 2% from the last 24 hours. This is a fresh article, by the way. This increase in trading volume might show a major influx of buying and selling activity as the crypto market attempts a recovery. Look, crypto market welcomes $441 million in inflows. The sentiment on the market saw a sudden switch following the more recent data from CoinShares, which shows that inflows into crypto remain surprisingly given, surprising given the massive selling in the past week. This implies that investors might have considered the price fall as a buying chance in the week gone by, according to CoinShares. Digital asset investment products saw an inflow of $441 million. All right, Bitcoins received 398 million of inflows, usually represented just 90% of the total inflows as investors chose to invest across a much bigger set of altcoins. In the coming days, eyes on XRP to gauge the next price move in amid the recent developments in overall crypto market. All righty. So we see an 80% increase in activity. Um, so that could be a signal that the shaking out is over. And how do we know when the shaking out is over? When people stop selling. You know, you still got people that are that are that are getting jarred loose, so they're selling. So the bottom only comes in after it shakes out, and then you got mostly holders left. Then people start buying again. So that's pretty much how it works. Then we'll have retracement of you know it'll pop up, go down, pop up, go down. But we, sh I'm thinking we'll see the rise. I'm hoping we don't go down into the 37 cent range. Uh, that's a possibility. But um, anyway, there you have it. These two very bullish articles, in my opinion, to hopefully see the turnaround coming soon. What do you think? Think it's turning around? Uh, a lot of people are uh, so wore out by this shakeout that they don't believe in XRP anymore. They lose hope. Well, those are the people that are still being shaken out. So if you still believe in strong, put a one in the comments and let me know I'm strong or type in I'm strong. If you're feeling kind of uh, weakish about it, that's okay too. Put that in the comments. It's okay. We all need encouragement sometimes. So hang in there. I'll see you guys next video. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Have a good day.